Hi and welcome to my new little tool that I call Pattern Maker, which I have done for all of you that likes to do patterns in Blender and want to make it easier for you. So we can go right away to my base nodes. Base nodes are those that are like the, the smallest building blocks that you often use when you create a pattern. So let's say that we will do a tile wall. So to do a tile wall, we need to make some tiles. So we use simple tiling, put this to the UV here, and then I can just put in the scale here. Then I need some transformation of the UV. So I take the range converter, take this in here, and finally I need some tile. So I take a simple square here, put that in here, and put that to the surface. So now we have something here. You can see it's like not like a square because it's sharp here. Then it's just to click this one and you get uh, absolute range instead of a negative one to one. You get positive one, zero, one. And we have this tile wall. We can now change that to whatever we want. And we can also do some offset if we want to. So let's say every second row should be moved in the x direction, uh, 0.5. So then we go up for every second row and we move it in the X direction, like 0.5 or something. Then we get that. Uh, we can, of course, play with this simple square here. So we can change the contrast. We can change the pyramid shape to get it uh, more flat. We can make round corners if we want to and so on. We can even shape, uh, de uh, reshape uh, the square a bit if we want to with this uh, ratio. So this is really good if you want to do like um, tiles for a wooden floor or something. So we always get the same uh, size on the edges here. But if you don't have something like that and you just want to play with the shape, then you can just change the ratio here to make something of that as well. So now we have something here and it was only three nodes. So in the base nodes, we have all of that and we have a lot of stuff. So we have a randomize, we have the range converter, we have all the different shapes that we want to, tiling of different types. We have uh, polar coordinates to Cartesian and back to polar again if we want to, if you want to do like round stuff. Uh, we have transform to move and scale and we have a filter that takes away tiles. So if we want to take away tiles, we can just use this. But here you can see we have some ID, so we cannot use simple tiling, we use advanced tiling. Because in the advanced tiling, I have a lot of stuff that we normally don't need if we just want to do tiling. But if we want to have ID for each of these, or we want to change the ratio, or we would like to do something else that is more advanced, then we use the advanced tiling. So here we can use the UV filter, just take in the ID, the ID X and ID Y. And as soon as we're do done like this, then we can just play with this and take away uh, random uh, tiles if we want to, or we might want to take away everything in the um, X direction or perhaps in the Y direction. So we can, or in the ID here, so if I put this to seven, we get every second, for instance. So you can change a lot of stuff with just the base nodes. And then you have the deformers, and that is how you visually change things. So let's say that I take away all of these here, and instead I just use a, a simple n-gon, for instance, and we need some converter here. So put those in, uh, we have this. And now I would like this to be a star. So I just changed the uh, center a bit. So we get like, we can get a flower, we can get a star like this. Uh, take, change the contrast, the size, something like that. And now I just go to my deformers and I would like to have the edges here. So I just drag this in and put the pattern here and I get the edges and I can then play with the width of the edges here to uh, get it as width, get the wide, uh, wideness of the edges as I want to. 
or I can play with other things here. So I can like uh, play with the kaleidoscope, which is more advanced and it's more to have fun. But with this one, I can easily put in uh, something here in and uh, that I can play with. So if let's say I take this one to my simple end gun, I can take it directly from here. So we take it like this. Uh, let's and then we take it like this. We don't need this because that is already built in in this kaleidoscope since it's always centered. So then I can just use that and play with information here to change the amount of sides and the levels, how many rows it should be inside here uh, with the size and so on and can get something that is really nice just with two or three notes. So there you have all these things that are visually can change stuff. And then you have some noise and right now it's just the more the damage. I will add more to this later on. But this one will easily make all the edges damaged if you have a pattern. And then I have some graded noise that is a noise that I built from scratch. So we are not using blender noise here. It's something that is, as I said, created from scratch, but can be useful. Then we have patterns and this is just plug and play. So if we take this away and take in a pattern, whatever pattern we want, then we can just take that, put it in here from the UV and get that out here. So we get some here. And here we have like a carrot tile and now we can just play with things like the angle here. We can play with the size of the edges, the scale and so on. And you can also see that we get the UV out so we can connect everything inside here to follow along when I change the angle. So let's say that I would like to have something else inside like uh, the fibers or something. Then I can just connect the UV to the fibers, put that out here. And you can see that when I turn, it also turns the direction on my fibers. So if I take this up a little bit, you see now everything goes down and here it changes. So then I can just use this together with the mask here and put in the factor and the mask to get it with the edges as well. So it could look like something like this. So if I go to converter and mix, then I can use my mask here. And now you can see that I get that in here and I get that in here. And now I have something that have some good uh, edges when I play here and everything is follow along in a good way. So that is just one example. I have a lot of different types of patterns here. You have some knitting, you have some scales that you can play with. We have some uh, scattering, we have shapes directly. So if I don't want to go the long way by using base notes, I can just put in my shape here and put it out and I have the shape. And I can change this to be a circle or to be a square or to be some end gun with some type of edges. So I can have six edges and I can change this to be a flower for instance, change the rotation, how much uh, this could be, should be on the contrast, uh, size and so on. So everything is already built into this shape if I don't want to do the base notes here. So just one node and you get everything. Could be that I would like to add some stitches into it and I can do that as well. So I can just put in some stitches and I use that just for fun. I put in like a simple math for adding these things together and then I can just move the X offset and the Y offset. So put it some here and play, uh, play with the spaces or the width or whatever I would like to do. Uh, so since it's just one node, it's easy to just copy that one and make more and just change the offset on this one as well and just add everything together in the end. So very few nodes and suddenly you can then do a lot of uh, play things here. So easy, easy to do. And 
it's obvious that everything else works as well. So the notes that you're used to use with Blender can of course be mixed with this one. So if you want to do realistic material, then you can just use that as a starting point with these patterns and then you can continue. So let's say that you would like to have some scales, then you just start with the scale. You can take away all that stuff here. So we have the scales here, we might want to change them just a bit, or we now want it to be, it doesn't matter so much. And we might want to have some damage in the edges here, so I just put in that in my noise. Put in some water damage, put that in here, so that we get that, and then we can just take in a simple math node and add those things together and we have now some uh, smudge in this and we can then decide how much changes we would like to do it's easy to change everything here uh, to make it something that we would like to have so it's you can almost you can do everything here very very easily in the patterns and as i said i have a lot of patterns here that you will get when you have this product here so everything from simple stuff to more advanced stuff and there is a few some symbols this is also some uh, category that will grow over time but as a, for the base i just added three of these that you can put together with something else if you want to just to get it uh, to look nice. But as I said, uh, with the base notes and with the patterns, you can do almost everything with very few notes. So hopefully you understand how my tool works now and you can see the potential when you are working with it, how easily you can make something that was hard to be very easy for you and to create exactly what you want to. So hopefully you like the tool and if you like it, it's just to go into Blender Market and buy it. And for the base version, I will keep that base version. Uh, so if you want to, you can just buy that for like uh, 5 quids. Or you can take and buy the extended version for $10. And if you buy the base version... You can later on just upgrade with the difference so you get the full version with all the symbols and all the noise that I will add here. And my goal is of course to have at least the same amount of noise as I have patterns here for like rain or dust or whatever you want it should be in the noise as well. So yeah that was about my tool and uh, I say bye for now and see you later.